Oh, I definitely forgot to take my spot cream off my face. <laughs> I'm gonna put a mask on, so it's fine. Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm still dying over the spot cream on my face. Oh, uh, people probably see me in the supermarket and they're like, oh, I follow that girl. I think I follow that girl on Instagram. She looks like trash. Yes, I do look like trash. It's fine. So I have come to Sainsbury's very early this morning for some essentials, because your girl is hungry but also because I have run out of literally all of my cleaning products and it is spring clean time. That is what we are doing today. Lots of you have actually said, are you doing some kind of like organization series? I would love to see it. I need some inspo and yes, I was already planning on it. I am here for you. We're gonna see how far we get today because I actually want to like thoroughly, not just like spring clean the room, but like take everything out, like the drawers, clean the drawers, like that kind of vibe. We'll see how far I get with each room but I have come to Sainsbury's and I'm actually really excited <laughs> I haven't bought cleaning products in such a long time hence why I'm running out of them and it's one of my favorite things to like browse and buy so yeah I thought I would intro this before I get in there because I used to love taking you to the supermarket with me pre-lockdown and now I can't because I can't talk to you it's just like it's so annoying trying to talk through a mask so yeah I have come very early <laughs> because well very early for me because I think I have deliveries coming today I'm hoping they do come today because deliveries are all over the place at the moment something is going on with the courier services but i have something very specific that i need to be in for so yeah i'm trying to beat the postman back to my house basically so yeah let's get in there let's get me some cleaning products and some coffee and some milk and some bread you know the basics i'll take you with me up until my hands get full and then i'll probably have to stop vlogging vlogging my masks are from asos by the way they don't make them anymore it really annoys me because i love these and i had two black ones and i've lost both of them and that Makes me so sad. Anyway, it covers up my uh, spot cream rather nicely, so I'll take it. <laughs> I can't decide between this one or this one. They both smell so good. I'll go this one. I like that it has a big refill as well. Okay, so my blogging got cut a little bit short. I was literally doing my uh, cleaning shop and I, I went to press record and this person I came and stood right next to me like they were touching me and I was just like what is going on why are you in my personal space this is weird so yeah it threw me it annoyed me people getting up in your personal space pre-covid annoyed me but now it like makes me really angry I need to put my glasses on so yeah now it's just like a whole different level of annoyance and it really threw me and I had to just like leave but I will show you what I picked up when I get home. So, have my things and in classic Susie style, I've realized that I forgot to get something because I was so distracted in the cleaning aisle with rage. So, <laughs> I forgot to get, what is it called? Uh, dr like drain unblocker, but I'm not gonna do the bathrooms today, so it's fine and the corner shop does. My favorite drain unblocker. <laughs> Tell me you're old without telling me that you're old. If you're wondering what it is, I will show you when I get round to doing the bathroom. I don't think that that's going to get done today. So I think we're basically going to have a little spring cleaning series because I just don't think that me doing my whole house in a day is possible plus working at the same time. So this is just my project for this week. I think today I'm going to start with the kitchen and then my bedroom. I'm going to do a room that like has a lot of stuff and then a room that doesn't have a lot of stuff. I think that's the best way to do it. So like my living room and I think the bathroom, the wardrobe room is going to be done on its own. I'll do wardrobe room and like hallway and I think the office I will do on its own as well just because there's like a lot of stuff. Like if I want to take all the stuff off the shelves that's quite a big job. So maybe I'll do the office and hallway and the wardrobe room completely alone because that is going to be the biggest job tell me how you would like me to do that by the way do you want me to try all my stuff on with you and decide what i like put into storage and like keep out or whatever but yeah today kitchen because it really needs doing i've got so much recycling from the zara home hall to break down i want to do washing change my bedding so it ties in nicely with the bedroom and they're really close to each other in terms of the layout so my battery's flashing. Let me just change and I will talk you through what I got. Also guys, it just came through my front door. I feel like Pizza Hut heard me talking about them in my last vlog. If you haven't seen it, I will leave a link. I feel like they knew. That is so weird. I never get Pizza Hut like leaflets through the door. Okay, so we have, I went a little bit wild with the method stuff. I couldn't resist. Who remembers in my old flat when I just used to have them all like perfectly lined up in the little um, cleaning basket. So I picked up two that I already had and knew I liked. I also got this because I feel like Ryan's had this before and I really liked it. So got that. I basically end up using like the all purpose cleaner on my floor, but I thought it would be good to try the actual floor cleaner and it's pink. 
and I love that. I know some people are going to be like, why would you bother? But it's the little joys in lockdown for me. Bathroom cleaning sponge. I have sponges in my kitchen. I'll show you a fresh one. The sponges for my kitchen are heart shaped and they look like this and I love them. I'm going to order more before this vlog goes live because I know... I know they will disappear once I show you these. I then got some of these. I used to have loads of these and I have no idea where they've gone. Does that happen to anyone else or is it just me? Why the butter is over here with the cleaning products, I will, I, d I don't know. Why are you there? And yeah, the bin liners that caused me to have rage. I'm hoping these are the right size for my bin. Sainsbury's has the worst selection of bin liners. I'm just going to put it out there. But I needed my cleaning products and my hot cross buns, so... Yeah, hot cross buns, more vegan feta because I tried the TikTok feta recipe and my god it was good. Cheese, grapes, <laughs> bread. <laughs> it's like Christmas all over again. I got pomegranates as well to have with my broccoli because they actually are like an elite combo. I've got my favourite coffee. They've changed the packaging really through me. This because it's Valentine's Day this weekend and Ryan and I are going to make cherry amaretto spritzes. I can't remember what I was calling them. I think that over Christmas I was calling them a cherry spritz. My oat milk. I don't have any particular favourite. Any oat milk, any almond milk, don't care as long as it's not dairy. And then butter. I always forget it every time I go in there. Every single time. So yeah, now I can coat my hot cross buns with my plant-based butter goals. Also got myself some flowers as like a well done you, you're about to spring clean kind of vibe. And I got the springiest flowers apart from daffodils that you can find. So we're gonna do a little before and after because you know, we all love that. I've got a bin bag here, ready to go out. I've got recycling over there that I need to break down. Like I said, that's from the Zara home haul. I need to sort my laundry out. I decided not to put all of these in the cupboard straight away because I want to clear out the cupboard. So I'm just leaving them there. One of Ryan's Valentine's Day presents has arrived. I've got more recycling there. We've got compost and general like packaging, like daily packaging recycling down here. And then brand here is actually looking like fine, it's fine. <laughs> I cooked last night, I cleaned up after. So not much to do here, but I do want to do these drawers and like get all my cupboard stuff out and just like have a look at what we've like got. I keep my toaster in here, so that drawer needs a hoover. It's not that bad, but it could be better. The cupboards, these cupboards I think are fine. I'm really happy with like my glassware. In here is actually, it could do with a reorganize, but I cleared it out not long ago. So that is also fine. This cupboard down here, this is my cleaning cupboard. It is so neglected and getting very out of hand. So we're gonna clean out that. This drawer is like the drawer of doom. It just kind of houses everything. I will clean that out. I'm promising myself I will clean that out. My cutlery drawer, I will probably just give a little wipe, get rid of the dusty bits, but don't need to clear that out. I'm still really happy with everything. And then down here, it's just like candles, diffusers. I usually have one of my vases that I used earlier usually lives there. So yeah, kind of happy with this. I just need to go through the candles. I don't think this one is good anymore. So I need to get the wax out and then I can recycle that. This cupboard could do with a little tidy up, but it's actually fine. I cleared this out not too long ago. So it's just like mostly Nala's stuff, if I'm honest. And then a few like books that could be decorative, but I don't like having them out because they're really bright. We then also have this drawer, which I'm pretty happy with. It just stays quite tidy. The system is good. You know when you like take something out and it just has the perfect place to go back in? Yeah, happy with that. It's definitely not gonna be as bad as a job as I thought. What I would have loved though is for this sofa to not be here. There's been a real delay in kind of getting it out of here. Someone wants it and we're just kind of having to wait it out. What I would have loved is to have not have that here so it would be a little bit easier to kind of clean and stuff. But I did, before it went in here, I did clean all of the skirting behind it like part of my spring clean is to do all of the skirting and all of the little like nooks and crannies it's not going to need doing so desperately and once it's out i will like do it then but i'll do the rest of the skirting everywhere else and then i'll probably like do all of the surfaces and then buff them out with like a microfiber cloth and then everything will look really nice and shiny but yeah that's going to be it for this room then i've got the windowsill to wipe down and then i'm just going to hoover mop it's going to be lovely I need to quickly check over Brian's Valentine's Day present because it's breakable. <laughs> I want to make sure that it got here okay. So I found quite a few things actually. Shall I show you that in this vlog? I'll show you in this vlog. What? Oh God, what is wrong with me? So 
Brian loves these glasses. I also love these glasses. So I would quite like these, but sadly I'm buying them for him. But one day, hopefully, we'll get our shoes together and live together. So hopefully one day, that'll be mine too. Oh, the quality of these is really good. You know when you buy stuff off Amazon and you're just never sure. They're so lovely. So Ryan loves my, I have little kind of tumbler ones of these. I thought I'd get him these because they're not something he'd normally buy himself. Oh, it's kind of really snowy. Mm. I'll show you what else I've got him whilst we're at this. So I think this should be it. I don't think I've ordered anything that this could be. The boy loves a cookbook. So I picked him up the Dishoom one. I don't know if there'll be that many vegan recipes in it, but I know it's a really beautiful book. So I know he'll love it just for like photography inspiration, some of the recipes he can easily tweak to make them vegan. So even though it's not like a vegan cookbook, it's still a really lovely one. And he's very good at making like non-vegan things vegan, so. I think he'll really enjoy that. I also got us a like make your own kind of burger kit from Patty and Bun. I forgot, brain like a sieve. I forgot that Honest Burger also do them as well. And Honest Burger burgers are our favorite in terms of like the vegan ones. So it's a bit annoying, but I'm up for trying new things. So it's cool. So yeah, that is our dinner sorted. We're gonna have cherry spritzes. We can have them in the nice new glasses. Yeah, I hope he likes this. It's such a gorgeous book. So it is snowing quite a lot. Like it's a flurry, but it's coming down quite aggressively because it's quite windy. I am going to do something slightly controversial and bring my recycling bin inside, seeing as I'm going to clean the floors anyway. I do this quite a lot if it's bucketing down with rain and I need to do my recycling. I, by the way, I love that I'm filming basically this whole vlog with spot cream on my face. If anyone ever says to me, I don't think you're real enough in your videos, I will send them the link to this vlog. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna stand out there and freeze because I actually will turn to an icicle and I do this when it's pouring down with rain, I bring the bin inside because my bin is kept right near like my kitchen door, it's kind of ideal. Yeah, don't judge me, but I'm not up for becoming a snowman. One down, so many more windows to go. <laughs> uh, I really didn't think this through. And honestly, I just did that one window and I was like, oh, it's just not as satisfying because I need to book the window cleaner in. I need to book the window cleaner in because my God, there is the biggest seagull poo down my back door. But yeah, you know when you like clean the inside and you can see the inside glass is like really shiny and then the outside is like, Soon it will be all done and it will all look lovely. And hopefully he can do the skylight as well because I don't even know what I'm gonna do about that but anyway the one thing i have found that makes cleaning so much easier is like different cloths have different cloth colors for different things so pink is always my good old faithful trusty little sidekick because it's pink which is like my regular dusting and then green is always for glass because two g's yellow usually stays confined to the kitchen and i do like all of the cupboards with it and things like that and then i don't know where the blue one's gone so <laughs> i have three at the moment but then i have like a really like dirty cloth and then i have like a cleaner wet cloth and it all seems to work really nicely and like dirt doesn't get like rubbed about and things actually clean better but i'm gonna get on do the other windows the doors so i don't know if you can see me but we're gonna start off with our dry duster because if you don't use the dry duster first you end up with the little black dust bunnies on your wet cloth and when I used to do cleaning that was like doom if I saw someone else do that I was like no 
That is like rookie mistake. So I always give everything a dust first. If you'd have told me a few years ago that I would have been cleaning on YouTube for a video, I would have laughed at you. I would have legit laughed at you. Give it a quick wipe with a wet cloth. Give it a little anti back I'm giving it a wipe over with my clean cloth. Just take some of the excess off and then we can make sure everything's clean. Lovely. cleaning out of my microwave and oven. So this might take me a little bit longer than I anticipated, people. That is so satisfying. I wish I could have shown you the before, but it was disgusting. Also now realizing I had a lot more disinfectants than I thought because this cupboard was literally such a state I couldn't see any. This I have never used and I will probably still never use because it smells like ginger and that is the best smell ever. So I'm gonna have to like ration it because like I said, limited edition. This is not a spawn by the way. I just, I'm obsessed with these cleaning products. I have actually worked with them but like three years ago on like one thing, so obsessed with that please bring that back if you are watching method and i really like the kitchen one actually it smells like oranges which is really nice I'm starving. This is why I got the hot cross buns because they're one of my favorites at spring. It's best food, like elite tier food. Basically, if you're doing something you don't want to do, you have to like have a bright shining light to the day. So this is it. Also, can we talk about this? 
with the butter. Do you keep this? I need to know. Do you keep the little paper thing on your butter? Because I don't. But Ryan does, and it's very, it's very controversial. And yes, I'm aware that is a hideous amount of butter. Let me look. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are nearly there. Like everything, I've even gone and done the window. It's slightly smeary, but so much better than it was. I've done a few of the cupboards. I'm gonna leave the big drawer that's just got so much stuff. It's got like my, what do you call it? Like medical supplies, medical kit, first aid kit that in it and then loads and loads of vitamins but then also like my oven gloves and stuff like that i'm gonna leave that because i'm literally running out of time today and i still need to do some work so i'm gonna do this drawer down here i'm literally just gonna quickly hoover it whilst i hoover then i'm gonna mop so yeah that is all that is left to do in here it's looking very nice i'll show you it once it's all like hoovered then i'm gonna move on to my bedroom which <laughs> i'll talk about that in a minute which hopefully shouldn't take too long i can't move any of the furniture out and do behind it so i'm gonna have to make do as best i can because unfortunately the furniture in here is very big and very heavy but i will do my best this is kind of how the room is looking there's just a lot of stuff like all my washing from earlier is now on the side i've got all my cleaning stuff ready yeah everything is like actually not too bad i just want to do mainly the window shutters give all of the skirting a good dust that kind of vibe so we're gonna crack on with that and that is there because i need to film a reel with that tomorrow so you probably will have seen that already <laughs> oh i forgot to show you <laughs> ah my secret little chanel purchase so many people are like hang on these are new i haven't seen these i don't i want to put them somewhere but i can't really put them anywhere because i don't want to put them on my bed but yeah these were my secret little chanel purchase i didn't really tell you guys about this because i don't know it just seemed like such a weird time for one but also i bought them pre-loved so there was no like fancy experience with this or anything like that a friend of a friend was literally selling them but a really 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 good price as well she hadn't worn them before so th obviously that was why they were much 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 cheaper than retail but i couldn't resist snapping them up and they are actually they like are kind of like hiking boots slash snow boots so this bit at the bottom like flips out and it has little spikies underneath for if you're like walking in snow and i hate my snow boots not that i ever really like wear them but i was like these are so much better and in my mind i was kind of manifesting a snow trip at some point in my future but it just started snowing in the uk so i think that's all i've and that's about all i've manifested yeah they're really lovely what i would say is go a size up if you get these if you want to get these and they're on your list i would size up i would maybe go for like a five and a half or a six and i'm normally a five because they are a little bit snug like i couldn't wear i just wear like a, a very thin sock with these and they're fine but ideally i think i would probably prefer a much thicker sock but yeah that was my little secret purchase that i did not tell anyone about sorry about that guys Now that is a really satisfying little view.
so we still need to mop i've got the bucket it's all ready we're gonna do it i just thought i would show you the kind of like after from this morning's before now whilst it's still light because i feel like it's about to turn so this is how the bedroom is looking the only thing i haven't done is sorted out my hair tools just because i don't think i'm gonna have time for that today and i'd actually just rather get all the cleaning done and everything like super super clean today and then kind of like go at the decluttering at a later point but yeah everything is so clean like that surface literally shines i haven't seen it do that in a little while because i've just been giving it like a quick dust but i gave it like a proper anti-back polish it looks so lovely yeah i'm very happy with how it's looking in here it just feels very nice and calming i've got all my overnight stuff for tonight but yeah, really, really happy with everything. Nala's bed looks a mess, but we just leave that there because that's the way she likes it. And then the kitchen looks so much better than it did this morning. I am just so unbelievably happy. Do you need to go outside? Shall we let you out? Okay. Please hold people, Princess Nyla needs to go out. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. When I was washing something up here, you can literally tell the difference in that area and how like clean it is. It's so lovely. Just everything needed more than just like the regular dust. Everything just needed like a good polish and it just looks so nice. I basically went over everything after I'd like wiped it down. I went over with the microfiber cloths so that they literally, all the surfaces shine. It was making me so happy. I mean, I didn't get as much decluttering done as I initially would have liked, but I've done a lot. It's four o'clock. I really need to get on. I'm so red as well because I got so I get so hot when I mop and hoover. <laughs> oh, it's my life. It is a lovely sunny day today. I made the mistake of going out for a walk this morning though, very early, and it was freezing, absolutely freezing. So underneath all of this makeup is actually a really red, rashy face from where it was so cold. So I thought I'd just pile on a load of blush literally all over my face. There's blush up here so that you can't tell. And uh, it's working out very well for me. I've just filmed a reel, which is why I look like this. Very big difference to when I last saw you <laughs> because I really looked a treat. I was just watching the footage back like, hmm, that's that's lovely. I love that. Spot cream on my face. Like I left the house with spot cream on my face. Also, I've been working on something that's a little bit Valentine's-y. Sorry about my fingerprinty screen. If you want to go and watch that as well, that will be on my Instagram. I'm putting that up this evening, so I need to get cracking.
exactly what I'm about to tell all of you last night, but I actually hated the footage, so we're doing this again. I feel like I've had to do that several times for this vlog. I actually, the hoovering last night, if I look like I'm doing it really half-heartedly, it's because I am. I actually did it all, <laughs> realised my camera had cut out, and then proceeded to have to do it again, like moving all of the furniture and everything. <laughs> I was just like, the things I do for YouTube. But yeah, I had a chat with you last night and just hated it. I just couldn't speak. I couldn't speak properly. So the living room is looking lovely. I've added some new cushions to the sofa just spare ones that I had from over ordering if you watch my last vlog I actually had these cushion covers which are also from Ikea which match the sofa really well so I just threw those on and they kind of just like back up the like linen pillows morning you all right so yeah they're looking lovely the living room was just so easy to clean if I'm honest there isn't really a lot in here even like the drawer on this media unit has nothing in it whereas like three years ago it would have been absolutely stacked with candles because of moving I feel like I haven't had to declutter as much this spring clean I haven't really had that much to clean either like I just kind of go over everything but I do everything super regularly now anyway so I moved in in the summer I also did I think an autumn spring clean and then I did one at Christmas as well so there was so much that just didn't need doing and I was really beating myself up for that when I was filming this vlog I was like there's just not a really good before and after like there used to be when I used to do like clear outs and like spring cleans even just a spring clean because I didn't used to clean as often as I do now they were just more satisfying and there was more to do more to watch but I guess that's the point of doing spring cleans not just every spring is that you just don't have as much to do and it is so much easier to clean everything like I can't tell you how often I do like the skirting boards go over all the light switches go over all like the high points of the room but my wardrobe room is definitely <laughs> going to be better in terms of decluttering for sure sure the actual spring cleaning in there will take about five seconds once the things are out but the decluttering for that is going to be huge and the bathroom and office as well that's where most of my beauty storage is so let me know if you do want to see that i feel like i've done this the wrong way around and i've started with like the most boring rooms but yeah office and bathroom are definitely in need of my attention and i'm actually kind of looking forward to those a little bit more i don't know why i find like going through my beauty stuff really satisfying but yeah i'm actually going to be doing it the wardrobe later today for a separate vlog there was one thing i did forget to show you which i realized the other day so this drawer i forgot to show you when i was showing you the cupboards i feel like did i show you all the cupboards so we've got lovely lovely nala's treat cupboard lovely yeah this is now like super organized so i've got all my diffusers literally like stacked ready to go this vase now fits in there which it didn't before and i just went through all of the candles and kind of like gave them a test and a sniff and saw if they were like you know okay this cupboard is looking all good like all the cupboards are just fine i don't have that much stuff <laughs> the cleaning cupboard is probably the most satisfying i'm just loving it it's really been helping me to like keep on top of everything as well like i just immediately clean up straight after myself which i think i got a bit like slack with over lockdown because i'm just like no one's coming in no one cares it's just kind of like giving me a nice kick up the bum which is great i also had a lovely bath last night which you will have seen oh so nice and i am just blazing through this book so this is how much i've left i actually stopped reading early last night just went to bed because i wasn't ready to finish the book like i didn't want to know what happened or how it ended so that i will probably try and read maybe whilst i'm having some lunch today but it's called invisible girl by lisa jewel and i really like her stuff i've read i think a couple of her books and i just really enjoy them i've read this in like a 48 hour period so would definitely recommend if you're just looking for like one of those kind of like murder mystery missing people mystery type vibes books with missing people are generally sad blah, 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 but it just doesn't feel too heavy it's one of those like books that you can just really breeze through it's a very easy read in some respects so really enjoying that i'm gonna show you my outfit quickly so today i'm wearing leggings and a little like thermal top from mns and then i've just got this long cardigan on from misguided really enjoying this it's just a really nice easy throw on kind of piece which makes you look like you've pulled together an outfit when you actually have not i think that is going to be it for me i need to round up this vlog because i actually keep running out of memory because this vlog has so much footage so i am gonna leave you here i hope you have enjoyed this like spring cleaning the start of my spring cleaning it's just the very tip of the iceberg really let me know if you want more if you don't i will scrap my video plans but yeah i hope you are looking forward to the wardrobe room <laughs> the room of doom but yeah i will see you all soon love you lots hope you're having a good day bye 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 bye, bye.